Hey everyone, it's Ollie here from One Number, and today I just wanted to show you how show hide buttons work in Tableau and some cool things you could do with them. So a show hide button looks something like this. It's basically just an element that uh, allows you to show or hide any element on your dashboard from a worksheet to a dashboard object. Uh, so in this case, we've actually done a video on this help overlay before, but here we've got a little button up at the top right, and if I hold down my options key or alt and click it, it sort of reveals this help overlay, um, a sort of sheet that shows us some instructions and what to do. So that's pretty cool. But you could actually do this with anything. Like for instance, if we wanted to show or hide this worksheet down here, I would just click on this worksheet, click the drop down, and say add a show or hide button. And now it pops up and I can click it and move it around. I can put this anywhere on the dashboard. That makes sense, which, <laughs> which is nice. <laughs> And that's probably worth uh, taking, taking a look at. I think one of the cool things though is that with a show hide button, you can change that icon uh, depending on you know, how you want it to show up. So for instance, that default behavior is the X and the hamburger menu. So hamburger menu and X. But over here at the top right, you can actually see, let me double click on this button to bring up the edit menu. And you can see that I can allocate a button for when the item is hidden and a button for when it's shown. And those can be two different buttons. So like for instance, our button hidden is the alert icon saying, you know, click on me. And when it's shown, it's the glow pointer icon kind of tying into our help overlay idea. So you would choose an independent image for each of those things. Now, you can find some great images at flaticon.com. They're fantastic if you wanna put those in there. And you here you would just input uh, you know, what actual items you want to show or hide based off of that. So just to round that out, here's what that would look like. So there's our little globe icon with the mouse and there we go. Okay. The other thing that I wanted to show you is another Tableau dashboard that really, we went to town using these show or hide icons and maybe this would be useful, but it'll look something like this, right? So here we've got this home page. And uh, this is from our homepage and navigation buttons video. You can check that out. Uh, we'll link it down below as well. But say we were navigating to the sales overview. You'll notice by default, there's a little menu here with a homepage button and a custom account and product details. But by default, you know, when that dashboard is first presented, it looks something like this. We've got our show hide button. And if we click on that, we're actually opening up a whole menu. Uh, we also have some navigation buttons over here. So, you know, the nice thing about these show hide buttons is you really can be strategic about what information you want to show and when. Not everything on your dashboard needs to be shown at the same time. There are other ways you can show or hide things, not just with buttons. You can use dynamic zone visibility, which we've chatted about. You can use parameter or set actions to show or hide different bits of information. But hey, hopefully this is helpful. If you want some help implementing something like this, why not book an office hour with us? Uh, we try and make ourselves available to help you with your Tableau problems within 24 hours. So if you want to do that, uh, feel free to book a session with us. Otherwise, if you've got any other questions, feel free to put them in the chat or the discussion down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Awesome. Thanks for joining.